Right, so this is a proud moment for me. I'm sat next to my fellow compatriot, um, Darren Moore. What has been the highlight of your uh, playing career? God, the, the highlight of my playing career was um, having the ability to, to play uh, in the Premier League. Uh, I always, one of my um, dreams was to play at the highest level. And when I was first starting, it was the, the old like Division One, and then it developed into the Premier League. So to have the opportunity and to play in the Premier League was, um, was a wonderful moment and occasion for me. Mm -hmm. So in 1998, the Reggae Boys qualified for their first ever World Cup. 21 years later, or over 21 years later this summer, the Reggae Boys, the Reggae Girls will be playing in their first ever World Cup. Uh, where were you and what was your thoughts when the Reggae Girls qualified? Well, it was, um, I remember um, sort of being at home and, and then sort of getting a message from a, from a, a dear friend of mine uh, to, uh, to say that they'd, they'd done it, they'd qualified. And then I quickly went and had a look on, on, online and, and saw the result come through. And I was absolutely um, sort of joyous by the fact that the reggae girls had made it to the World Cup. What an absolute fantastic achievement. One that uh, the whole country of Jamaica um, and all the fellow siblings right across the, the world really should be all be proud of because it's a it's a historic moment for the for the country and for the girls and it just shows the level of in, improvement and where they've come uh, as a country and a, and a group uh, and they'll do us proud mm -hmm. and what's your advice for the girls who will be traveling over to france um you know jamaicans are based all over the world what can they expect what type of reaction uh just for, for them uh, to go to uh, france is to be confident uh, to continue to express themselves, show their talent and ability, um, be together as one, as um, you know, over there. Because when you come together as one as a team, and that you know, but you you have that desire to express yourselves for the team, you can be a formidable team. So continue to do that. They've done some tremendous hard work to get there, and they've shown a level of consistency. Um, this is cup football now, so um, a large part of it will be on confidence, on consistency, uh, and seizing the opportunity in the moment when it does come. Mm -hmm. Now, no disrespect to the reggae boys, but when it comes to the bigger tournaments like the World Cup, they have unfortunately failed to deliver. What do the reggae girls need to do to ensure that their legacy lives on? Like I said, you know, the, the opportunity is there. They're in the World Cup now. Um, seize the opportunity. Remember that they've, they've come a long way to get there. So. You don't want to get to the World Cup and, and freeze and not express yourself. Make sure you come out of the World Cup having no regrets. Make sure you come out of the World Cup having, you know, express yourself to the fullest. And, and that's everybody, not just leaving it to one individual. Everybody is a team, you know, um, defending their defenders as a team. When you're going forward, you score as a team. Training sessions leading up to it. Everything, every detail um, can be done um, together because... You know, by doing it together and, and at the highest level, you're sharpening each other for the for the big occasion. And when the occasion does come, you know, express yourself. You're there because you deserve to be there and you should be there. So don't think that, you know, what we're doing here. No, no, no. You deserve to be there. You're there and you have the opportunity to win it. Mm -hmm. Now, the reggae boys are not doing as well as they should be doing. Of course, we've been to back-to-back -back, um, Gold Cup finals, haven't managed to go all the way. Would you ever consider coaching the reggae boys? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, uh, Theodore's doing a, a good job there at the moment and really, really good. And um, he's brought football uh, the football back. He's settled. He's brought a consistency back to them. Uh, as he said, you know, they've been to the, the Gold Cup finals uh, twice and that shows good level of consistency. Obviously, now it's the levels come up now where they've got a step on now and uh, really, really, really push themselves forward because we all want to see Jamaica qualify back again for a World Cup and they've got their talent and ability there uh, the structure of uh, the Jamaican football is uh, improved so everything that the foundations are laid there now uh, and it's just that finding that consistency that you need over a level of time that when those qualifications uh, come round the next one then you know we're, we're, we're in with a shout because uh, as he said it was 1998 the last one so we'd like to see the reggae boys back there and, and, and bring back um, that atmosphere that's needed at the World Cup but also at the same time if they do get back there it's um, going that step further because the talent what, what's with the uh, Jamaican national team is, is, is there for to see. Correct and what's your final message for the reggae girls who are about to create history come June? 
we are all behind behind you ladies um you we feel proud of you we're, we're delighted that you're there as i said from a personal message from me you're in the world cup you've got every opportunity for, of winning it uh, so go and express yourselves we'll be watching we'll be cheering and you've done us proud but you have an opportunity to go and lift it so why not one last question can we get you to france Yes, I mean, if the, the invite's there, without a doubt, I'll come, I'll come over to France and uh, come and watch the, 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 the game. I'd love to go and see them uh, live over there. So if the opportunity presents itself, without hesitation, I'll be there to cheer them on personally. I'll work on that for you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Cheers.